Welcome back to the Sound for More channel and welcome back to another demonstration and tutorial. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Circa from Audio Damage. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So, Circa, it's a, a looper, a record looper, right? Um, which takes uh, uh, inspiration from uh, some of those loop stations from Boss, like the RC505 Mark II, and so on. It's different than Enzo, if you are asking from audio damage. And um, yeah, a UV3 uh, compatible, as you can see on the screen, we are inside a UM. This is way, uh, this is the way that it looks like. Really busy interface with a lot of different options, but I, I kind of like it. I personally like when there are a lot of different options than not enough, but it is a busy interface for sure. It's available in a lot of different versions on desktop as well, so please uh, do check it out. So this video is just uh, an introduction and um, tutorial number one, getting started. So let's see what we can do with Circa. Okay, so as you can see, we have an audio channel and inside this audio channel, we have Circa as an insert effect, okay, which I'm going to remove for a moment. And then we have uh, ISIM. I could have chosen also something else, not necessarily ISIM, but let's start with these. And I have selected at the moment a disco bass, which sounds like so. Okay, so let's uh, um, bring up um, Circa and um, let's see what we can do. Let me give you a quick demonstration so that uh, um, I explain a little bit of the controls, not all of them, and it will give you an idea on how it works. Now, I'm going to overlay the keyboard, um, and of course, so that I can play, but then I'm going to move it up and down as I need to. You can see we have uh, the effect tab here selected. We can go also in modulation, we can go also on level, which is your mix up, but I'll show you that in a moment. So let's leave it on effects. Then at the top here, you have two, four, six layers. And this is what is important. And indeed the first tab selected is layer. You can see the name, there is an input here and there is a monitor as well, which means if I play some keys here, you can see the level here as well. And if I remove the, or if I change the monitor level, of course you will not hear any more. Uh, the sound, which is useful when you want just to hear what the, has been recorded inside a loop. So you can have up to six loops concurrently working together, which is great. Now for the purposes of this uh, initial demonstration, let's ensure here, when you click here, it says audio. You can have it also to in sync mode, to, which will be synced to the first um, layer. Um, also in free mode. I prefer to have it in audio mode so it will check the level of the incoming signal, which of course that means you need to have the right trigger level here, otherwise it will not record because it will not go through that level. But as you can see, it, go f it goes through uh, quite nicely, okay? But if not, you have to decrease the trigger level. Okay, so then next what we are going to do, we're going to click here it goes to yellow and now is waiting for an input, an input signal that is going to record. So let's record some notes. And then we click stop here. Okay. And we have these uh, loop recorded. Now, if I click play here again, Now you can see the bars here, I could actually change the start and also the end of that loop. You can also see here you have 
all stop, which will stop all the loops, and also all play, which will get all the loops to Olea to actually play. Now let's go to the second layer here. Again, you can see it says sync here as a trigger. So change it to audio. Again, I will explain how the, all the different options work as we go forward. But for now, let's uh, keep it like that because it's simple. Let's go back inside ISM and then let's change type of sound. Okay, so let's find uh, something else, Caribbean. Okay, why don't we use that one? Okay, of course, back to uh, Circa and um, audio as a trigger there. Let's record something. And we stop. Of course, we can again adjust a little bit the waveform like so, and we can click play. Okay, of course, it has also the ability to overdub and you can even decide how much to overdub, which is really clever. You can also set envelopes as well. You have different type of filters as well, which is absolutely great. Now let's start here really all together. Of course, it's not synchronized, but that was done on purpose. And you can also set it to play, for example, one measure, two measure, etc., etc. Okay, so you can do that as well. Now you can go into the speed tab, and you have option to quantize, of course, uh, the speed, uh, to change the damping as well as you move between different speed. You can see on the left all the different layers in which state they are. At the moment they are in stop state, but they can be in play, and you can uh, uh, set them to play. Of course, it is quantized at the moment. If I click here, I remove the quantization so I can freely move the speed. Or I can here change the dumping, so it will take longer as I change the speed. which I find really good. You have also an option here for position. Again, you can change the starting position, which is really good, okay, for each of the layer. Again, what you can also do, you can slice this, look like so. You can change here, and you see rectangles, which appear in terms of also slicing uh, the different uh, part of the audio, right, which is great. And what you can do as you're playing, if you click at the top of this rectangle, you can change which slice to start to play with. So let me show you. Really, really clever, right? So let's hide the keyboard now to show you what is happening underneath. So you have effects, so you can see delay, reverb, main buses so you have an equalizer here and he has also a composite of bus and also supports multi bus as well which is really really good now you have levels here all right in here you can send you can set the send level for the lay reverb your pan your output this is where you change the different output up to six which is really great plus seven the main um so, and the different levels, of course, associated here, yeah, which is really, really great. So let's add some reverb. So let's click play. Okay, so it is as simple as that. Now, there is another thing which I just wanted to give you an introduction, which is modulation. So let's bring up again the keyboard here and let's connect the keyboard to Circa. Okay, so when we click on the keys here, we send the MIDI event to Circa as an insert effect. So we click here on the plus sign, it shows you this screen. Now, where it says learn, click learn 
and then set C4. He has learned now to the node C4. Let's go to the next one as well, and let's learn um, D4 as well, okay? So now let's hide that keyboard. Let's click on it again. So on this first uh, um, box here. So we are going to say that when the control is down, we are going to set the layer number one. And when it's going to control is up, we are going to play the toggle. So which it will play and stop. That is why it has a play toggle when we press um, that note C4 here. And we do the same on these control here, but we do it for layer two. Okay. And we again, we use the uh, play toggle option. Okay. So if I bring up the keyboard, now you will see I press C4. Press again C4 so I can start it or stop it. And I can do the same on the second layer. So you have a lot of different options in terms of modulation. It is really, really good. So look at what you can do in terms of when you click down or up or you hold. You can even give it a name and then you can assign different things that it can do as well. You can erase the content, you can record the toggle, you can overdub, etc, etc. So it's like... Um, you know, some of the functionality you find in Loopy Pro, you find them here through modulation, for example, which uh, which is really good, right? So, um, of course, you can save the state as presets in terms of, um, you know, in, inside your plugin, uh, which is good and doesn't consume a lot of uh, resources. You see DSP 7%, so it's pretty pretty straightforward as i say yeah you can save your preset here as well in terms of a u parameters and there are many which are exposed plenty so you can do a lot of the work there click save here of course and uh, you can save your preset and you can import your preset you can export to a folder as a zip file etc etc so a lot and that you can do okay i hope you enjoyed this introduction this getting started tutorial of how to use circa it's really absolutely interesting um as a um, loop station right uh, remember those boss um uh, looping station loop station like the rc firefly etc so um yeah is inspired from some of those I hope you enjoyed, and as always, see you next time. Bye.